What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3.7 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through another intrinsic function that is import value function. So basically the intrinsic function import value returns the value of an output exported by another stack. So generally the import value function is used while we are dealing with cross stack references. So guys, before we move on, I am assuming that you have a fair idea about the output section within the Cloud Formation template. But if not, then please refer to part 2.8 of this tutorial series. And I have posted the link of that video in the video description. So guys, now moving along. So now the question is uh, that what is the cross stack reference? So now let's try to understand it with an example. And along the way, we will also look at the import value function. So guys, uh, here, as you can see on my screen, we have two stacks that is stack one and stack two, and both the stack are creating the EC2 instances that are defined as a part of the resources. So now uh, here we want to make sure that the resource that is created by stack two, that is basically the EC2 instance should be in the same availability zone as of EC2 instance that is deployed as a part of stack one. So whatever the availability zone of this EC2 instance would be, that should be the same availability zone in which we want to deploy the EC2 instance as a part of stack two. But let's say uh, it is not limited to stack two, but there could be more stacks coming in. And again, all the EC2 resources should be deployed in the same availability zone as of stack one, right? So this is just an example, right? So in that case, uh, what we can do, so in that case, we can export the value of the availability zone from stack one, right? So from the stack one, we should be able to export the availability zone, the value of the availability zone uh, from stack one. And later we can import that value in another stack by using import value function, something like this. That is function import value. This should be avail zone. So this is how we can import this value in other stacks. And that is the same thing that we are doing here. So what we are doing here is uh, we are deploying the resources as a part of stack one, and then we are exporting the availability zone over here as well as the instance ID. But that is uh, something we are not using in the cross stack reference. So simply we are using the availability zone and then we have another stack uh, which will also be spinning up an EC2 instance and there is a condition that this uh, EC2 instance should be in same availability zone. So that's the reason we are using the import value function to import the avail zone value in the stack 2 and the avail zone is basically exported by the stack 1 right. So this is basically the cross stack reference. So now uh, let's have a look at the template. So as we see that stack one is already deployed right so it's already deployed over here we will have a look in a while but before that let's have a look at the template so this is the uh, template of the stack one so what it is doing here we have the parameters which basically allows user to select the instance type from these three values and then we have resources where we are spinning up an instance in the given availability zone and then finally we have the output section where we have uh, two output defined that is instance AVL and the instance ID and within instance AVL we are defining the value and as a value uh, we are returning the availability zone of this current instance and then we have description and finally we have optional export uh, and export is followed by the key value pair that is name and the string that is the avail zone. So now if we want to refer or if we want to import the value of this availability zone, then we will be using this name that is avail zone. So it should be import value of the avail zone and similarly goes for the instance ID. So guys, I have already covered the output section as I mentioned earlier in one of the previous tutorial. So you can refer that if you want to learn more about the output section and these parameters. So guys, uh, that's basically the stack one. Now let's have a look at the cloud formation template. Since we mentioned that it's already deployed. So now if we look at the outputs, then here we have the key that is the logical ID that we have defined as a part of the output section. And then we have value of that key that is US East hyphen one B. This is the availability zone and the description. And finally we have the export name that is avail zone and same goes for instance ID. So this is the export name that we will be using or we will be referring to in terms of importing this value. So even if we look at this diagram here, we are saying that import value of the avail zone, 
right? So this will basically return this value that is US is hyphen one B. Correct. So that's basically stack one. Now let's have a look at the stack two. So here we have stack two. So before going through the stack two, let's have a look at the syntax of the import value function. So there are two ways to define or use the import value function. The first one is fn colon colon import value colon followed by shared value to import shared value to import. And another way is to use the short of that. That is exclamation import value space followed by shared value to import. Now, for example, here we have exported the avail zone. Now, how we will uh, import this value? So let's have a look. So now if I say exclamation import value followed by avail zone, then this should return us hyphen is hyphen one B. So this will basically return the value that we have exported. That is us is hyphen one B. Right, so this is how uh, you can use or define import value function. Now let's have a look at the template. So again, as I mentioned that both the template are basically spinning up an EC2 instance as a part of the resources. So parameter remains as it is, resources remains as it is, except that the availability zone. So here within availability zone, uh, we are using the import value function colon followed by the sub function that substitute the avail zone and this avail zone is referring to this export name and this will return us hyphen one B. So as a result, this instance will be deployed or spinned up in the us hyphen one B availability zone. Now you might think that why can't we define something like this? That is exclamation import value followed by exclamation substitute function followed by the export name. So the reason is that we cannot use the short form of the exclamation import value when it contains a substitute function that is the sh short of the substitute function. The following example is valid for AWS cloud formation, but it's not valid for YAML. So even if we do something like this, it's going to throw an exception. So that's the reason uh, we are using fn colon colon import value colon followed by exclamation sub space avail zone. Right, so this is valid that we have defined on line number 21 as well as the one we have defined on line 23 is also valid. Right, so this is how you can use or define the import value function. Now, Let's navigate to the AWS cloud formation service. Let's say create stack with new standard resources. We will say upload a file, choose a file. We will select ec2 underscore stack 2.yaml, open, say next, give a stack name. I will say stack 2, say next again, next. And finally, we will say create stack. Now, while the stack is being created, let's navigate to stack 1 click on resources and let's open this physical ID of this EC2 instance. And even if we look at the outputs, we will be able to know the availability zone that we have exported. That is US is hyphen one B. Even if we look over here, here we have US is one B. Now the EC2 instance that will be deployed as a part of stack two should be in the same availability zone that is US is one B. Now let's have a look at the stack two. Let me reload this. Let's look at the events. Still the instance creation is in progress and it is completed by now. Now let's have a look at the resources and let's click on this physical ID. Since uh, we don't have the output section in stack two template, that's the reason it's showing no outputs, right? So click on resources and then click on this physical ID. And then uh, we can look at the availability zone that says us is hyphen one B. Correct. So both the instance are in the same availability zone. So guys, this is how you can use import value function. And this is how you can export certain value from certain stack and import that value using import value function in different stack, right? That's basically import value function. But uh, before we wrap up this tutorial or the video, uh, I want you to take note of few of the restriction that we need to be aware of while working with the import value function. So let's have a look. 
So here, as you can see on my screen, we have a few points mentioned over here. These are basically the restrictions that we need to be aware of. So let's start from first one. It says export names must be unique within the region across all stack. So if we look at the cloud formation stack one and let's say click on outputs. So here you can see that we have used two names that is avail zone and instance. Now we cannot reuse this name in any of the stack as a part of the export name. So I cannot reuse this avail zone else it will throw an exception. So we need to make sure that export names must be unique within the region across all stack. Now the second point says we cannot delete the stack if another stack is referring to one of its outputs or export value. So here what's happening is that stack two is referencing the output or the export value of the stack one. Now if I try to delete the stack one then it will throw an exception. Let's have a look at the events. So it says delete in progress user initiated but after that it says create complete export avail zones cannot be deleted as it is used by stack two. So we cannot delete this stack if another stack is referring to one of its outputs or the export value. Now the third point is we cannot modify or remove the output value that is referenced by another stack. So this is basically straightforward. Then we have the name property of an export cannot use ref or the get attribute function that is dependent on the resources. And then uh, we have import value function cannot include ref or get attribute function that are dependent on the resources. So uh, if we look at the stack two here we have used import value function so we cannot uh, reference or use get attribute function that is being referenced to any other resources right so that's basically this one and finally we have cross tag references cannot be done across regions it only works within the same region so uh, the exported value from this region or this tag i cannot import this value in any other region apart from us H1. so if i try to import avail zone in us west 2 then it will not work so basically cross tag reference uh, works in a single region or the same region but it does not works across different region so guys uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time